All right, today we're going to uh, finish up our lesson from section 2.1, and we're gonna focus on comparing uh, values using a number line to help. So our first example here, we have negative 12, and we're comparing that to negative 10. Well, if we look at our number line, here's negative 12, and here's negative 10. And as we've established, as you move to the right on the number line, the value increases. So if it increases as you move to the right, it'll decrease as you move to the left. And since negative 12 is farthest left, it will have less value than negative 10. Another way you could think about these, if they were both positive, 12 would be the greater number. And since negatives are the opposite of positives, if 12 is the larger number, then the opposite would be true for negative 12, which would make it the smaller number. For part B, negative six is farther right than negative nine. So negative six is greater than negative nine. For part C, negative eight is farther left than negative five. So negative eight is less than negative five. And for part D, we have a positive number compared to a negative number. Doesn't matter what they are. Positive is always greater than negative. Make sure you're aware of the signs when comparing. If you do not uh, take into account the signs, that could lead you to a wrong answer. Five is greater than three, but if you're supposed to use negative five, negative five is less than three. So with our six examples here, we just need to compare them. Negative 15 is going to be less than negative six. Negative 20 is greater than negative 23. Negative 30 is less than negative three. Negative 19 is less than zero. Zero is gonna be larger than all negative numbers. Positive 12 is greater than negative 31 and negative 75 is less than 46. You can use tables to help uh, write those inequalities. So here we have recorded temperatures in Alaska and you can see in July, the lowest record temperature was 16 degrees, August was eight degrees, and so on. If you were to write a, an inequality comparing September's lowest recorded temperature of negative 13 to August's lowest recorded temperature of eight, you would write the following inequality, negative 13 is less than eight. Here we have a table with some natural features and their elevations. We have Death Valley, Lake Asal, and Driscoll Mountain and their accompanying elevations. So if I was to ask you to write an inequality comparing the elevation of Death Valley to the elevation of Lake Asal, Death Valley has an elevation of negative 282 feet. Lake Asal has an elevation of negative 509 feet. Negative 282 is greater than negative 509. One other answer that I would accept for the inequality would be if you started with the elevation of Lake Assal and then put the elevation of Death Valley afterwards and then negative 509 is less than negative 282. But there will be situations where I am not accepting multiple answers and is based on what the situation is. Well, for number 25, it says zero degrees is warmer than negative five degrees. The only answer I would accept is zero is greater than negative five. Now, to be perfectly honest with you, if you wrote negative five is less than zero, I'm probably not going to mark it wrong though. 26, the elevation of the Valdez Peninsula which is negative 132 feet, 131 feet, is less than the elevation of the Caspian Sea, which is negative 92 feet. So you should write negative 131 is less than negative 92 based on how it's written. But if you wrote negative 92 is greater than negative 131, I will probably not mark it wrong. And finally, this last um, the last couple here, this is a chance for you to be creative because what you have to come up with is a statement 
that would result in the inequality. So for example, number 27, where negative 61 degrees Fahrenheit is less than negative 47 degrees Fahrenheit, you could have something like this. The lowest recorded temperature in Antarctica was negative 61 degrees Fahrenheit, which is colder than the lowest recorded temperature in Russia of negative 47 degrees Fahrenheit. And then for number 28, you could have a um, situation, for example, the depth of the Indian Ocean is negative 529 feet, which is higher than the depth of the Pacific Ocean, which is negative 893 feet. Uh, the key in both statements is making sure that you have some sort of um, language in there that makes a comparison. You also want to be creative. You don't just want to write negative 61 is less than negative 47, negative 520 is greater than negative 893. Be creative. Have a little bit of fun uh, with these. But that's our lesson for today, and hopefully this helps.